Hello learners and welcome again to today's lesson. My name is Mr. Meshak Ngige and I teach um, engineering mathematics. And today we're going to be checking a, a topic that occurs in um, Diploma 1 and Draft 2 in Electrical and Electronics uh, Engineering. Basically, I think these cuts across um, most of the engineering subjects. And that lesson is um, trigonometric identities. So basically, it's just an introduction lesson. Um, that's why we have it as a, as a PowerPoint. Now, uh, kindly also remember to subscribe, share, and also comment on how these lessons are being helpful to you. So now, we define trigonometric identities. So we can start with our definition. A trigonometric identity is a relationship that is true for all values of their non-variable. So most of the times, their non-variable is always an angle. So we are checking at the relationship that will be true for that angle that we shall be looking at. So from basic trigonometric uh, ratios, so let me have something here. <coughs> so for basic trigonometric, uh, trigonometric ratios, we have the sine is given by opposite of hypotenuse, the cosine is given by adjacent of hypotenuse, then the tangent is given by adjacent, uh, opposite of adjacent. And we have a formula here known as Sokatoa, very common formula. But this one basically just illustrates these three identities here, these uh, ratios, sorry. So we have the sine is given by opposite of hypotenuse, which is given by this part, okay, sine opposite of hypotenuse, then cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, then the tangent is given by opposite over, over adjacent. Now, <coughs> so from, from uh, the very common ratios, we can have other ratios, so we have the tangent, which is given by, uh, is given by sine over, sine over cos, and the contangent is given by cosine over uh, over sine. Now you can note something here. This one is sine over cos, then this one is cos over sine. So you can say this one here, which is the contangent, is the reciprocal of this. Okay, because you can see the flip of uh, the numerator and the, and the denominator. Okay, so therefore we can also say if this is a, uh, if this is a reciprocal of this, then therefore contangent can also be written as the reciprocal of the tangent, so which is 1 over 1 over tan. Okay. Then you have the cosec, which is given by 1 over sine, and the sec, which is given by 1 over cos. Now, note something here. Uh, most of the students take to confuse this, because you can see this one has a, 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 a term of cos. Okay? So, many tend to think that since we have a cosec, then it means it is 1 over cos. Okay? But uh, kindly note, it is the opposite. Okay? So, we have a cosec here, then here we have a, we have a sine. If we have a sec here, then we have a what? We have a cos. Now, first theorem. From the point, we have the right angle triangle. So this one is supposed to be a right angle triangle uh, in actuality. We have a relationship here, a relationship here that relates the adjacent, the opposite, and the hypotenuse. So remember, these are just sides of a triangle where the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. Okay, so the triangle can change in the in the in how it looks, but basically this is just it. So this is an adjacent side, this one is an opposite side, and this one is an hypotenuse. And these one are given with respect to this angle here, our, our angle theta. So from Pythagoras theorem, so we have a squared plus b squared equals to equals to c squared. That is a, that is proven and it is known. Look of how to derive uh, some we shall look at three trigonometric identities. So we start with the first one. So we already know this from the trigonometric identities. Okay. Now, <clears throat> from the trigonometric, uh, from the Pythagoras theorem, sorry. Now, dividing each term of this equation by c squared. So we divide here by c squared, we divide here by c squared, we divide here by c squared. So we have a squared over c squared, okay? Then we have b squared over c squared. Then we have c squared over c squared. Now we can see this one be just becomes 1 because this one is 1 and the same. Now from this, you can take the next step. Say we have... A over C by the laws of inde uh, indices, you can remove this power here because it, it is shared. Because if you have a power here, it applies to everything inside a bracket. So if this power was to be put inside of the terms here, we will we'll have A squared, then we we'll also have what? C squared. Now we can also, at the same time, remove the square outside because it is shared between this term and this term. So we have A over C squared, then plus B over C then into bracket, squared equals to 1, because this one is 1. Now, from this triangle here, let's check something. We have A over C. Which trigonometric ratios um, 
relates the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So you can give a guess. Yes, so that one is the odd. It is the cos. Cos is given by adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have our cos. Then B over C, opposite over hypotenuse. So which one is that again? Yes, so it is given by the sine. So we have a sine here, then we still have our square. So this square still we still maintain it here, then equals to 1. But now we have another uh, relationship that if we have a square here over to, in, in a trigonometric um, in a trigonometric identity, then we can we can put it here. So we have cosine squared uh, theta plus sine squared theta equals to equals to one. Then the same. same. Now we do here we divide each term by a squared. So we divide by a squared, a squared, and a squared. So this first term here becomes one. Then we have b over a. Then we have c over a. Now let's note something. We have b over a. That is the opposite over the adjacent. And what is opposite over adjacent is given by the tangent. Okay. Then we come here c over a. So we have a hypotenuse over. So we have a hypotenuse here. Then we have the adjacent. Now which uh, trigonometric ratio um, relates the adjacent and the hypotenuse? That will be the cosine. But now since we have uh, cosine is given by a over c, but now here we have c over a. So therefore, we, it means it is just the reciprocal of the cosine. And what is one over cos? One of one over cos is given by what? Given by the sec. So we have a sec here. Then we have a square. So therefore, again putting the square here and the square here, so we shall have one plus tan squared theta equals to the sec squared theta. One. We divide here both sides by b squared. The process again repeats itself. So we have this, we have this term and this term. Now we have a over b, then squared b over b, then you have c over b. What is b over b squared? Uh, then this becomes 1. Because when you cancel this and this, it becomes 1. 1 squared is just 1. Now we come here, a over b. Adjacent over opposite. So remember, we, had, uh, put, we have a relationship, we have a trigonometric ratio that we, uh, relates the two. So which one relates the adjacent and the and the opposite and the opposite? That is the tangent. But now tan is given by opposite over adjacent. But in our case here we have adjacent over opposite. So therefore this is just a reciprocal. So what is one over tan? One over tan is cos. Then again here we have C over B. C over B is related by uh, the opposite and the hypotenuse. That is the sine. Okay. But now here we have C, then we have over B. So therefore, it is a reciprocal of the sine, which is, and what is 1 over sine? 1 over sine is given by cosec square, uh, cosec. So therefore, we have a square here. So we shall have cot squared theta plus 1, then equals to cosec squared theta. So this is the last uh, identity that we shall be looking at. So we are going to check in you know, uh, a lesson that we will be following. We shall be looking at, we shall be working out uh, now to prove some relationships uh, using um, the trigonometric identities that you have just that you have just solved. So thank you very much uh, for watching. Remember to subscribe, share, and also comment.